Other news tonight, questionable conduct and potential improper influence. Those are the findings from the Citizens Review Board regarding racist, inappropriate text messages between Wichita police officers. As Brett Boganski reports in our continuing coverage tonight, they're calling for changes, Brett. Absolutely right, Emily. And not only did they want the police department to tighten its code of ethics regarding text messages and social media, but they want to get answers about why command staff decided to, in their words, give these officers a slap on the wrist. What I think we need to focus on is we've identified a problem. Let's fix it. An incomplete investigation. That's what the Citizens Review Board Chairman Jay Fowler and the rest of the board released Tuesday regarding the city's handling of the racist, homophobic, and sexually explicit text messages. It became apparent as we were examining the command staff and asking questions about what happened that the FOP was actively involved, first arguing that there was no conduct that could be disciplined and then arguing for no discipline. It's why they want the city to investigate the disciplinary process, saying in the report, an assessment needs to be made to determine if FOP involvement improperly influenced the discipline outcomes in these cases. And there's something there that we're just not seeing yet, but it's going to come out. I, I for, I'm 100% I'm for sure that they had somebody in their corner that knows more than what we all know. Pastor Odell Harris also feels the text messages prove there is a culture problem within the department and that the department needs to be more transparent. It's going to start with them holding themselves accountable. They hold the community accountable, but how is it that you can hold us to a standard that you yourself are not upholding? And so the FOP called those accusations about intervening in this investigation completely inaccurate and even criticized the board for not having all the information in the case. Now keep this in mind, there will be an independent investigation into how the city handled this case and to try to determine if there is indeed a culture problem. Here for you, Brett Bogansky, KSN News 3.